All right, if you bought a Ramp Rack Sport, you need to do this thing right now. I'm not sure why, but when you get a Ramp Rack Sport and tighten up the nut here, this is what they give you. Some weak, I don't know if this is even grade five, probably like a grade three, weak Chinese lock nut that's, you barely can get any grip on with the socket. Now you need like a deep well socket in order to reach it and you can't get enough leverage to tighten it. As you can see, I almost stripped mine out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go down to the hardware store and replace both the washer and the nut with a grade eight. I've also noticed, I've been using this ramp for about two weeks and these two loosen up. And then my ramp starts to rock back and forth, like left and right. But also I didn't have, I wasn't able to install the bumper supports that they sent me because of my bumper design on this 2020 Ram 1500. So I had to custom make uh, my own bumper support and I'll show you how to do, I haven't done the other side yet, but I'll show you how to do um, something like this if you are running into issues. So let's start off with the bolt. Again, I got all these at Home Depot. So this is what you're gonna need at the Home Depot or hardware store. So first what you'll need is a, obviously a nut. Now the nut that you'll need is a uh, quarter inch dash 13 grade eight coarse nut and I'd recommend grade eight or galvanized grade eights just uh, more beef here and it won't strip out as easy as these cheap Chinese nuts um, you got a flat washer they come in a three pack but get a half inch grade eight and a half inch grade eight lock washer now I I bought two hex nuts because I was planning on stacking them together along with a lock washer and a flat washer but I don't have enough thread to put a second nut on. So it'll just be held on by a nut. And again, they're just hex nuts. So you have to make sure to keep an eye out on them and make sure that they're not coming loose. So just once a week, check on the nut, make sure it's not loosening up. If you see a ramp rocking back and forth, uh, just check up on the, on the hex nuts. Again, I don't know if they make grade eight uh, nylon lock nuts. That would be awesome if they did. Uh, but this is all I could find at the Home Depot. If you know of anything else, hey, just let me know. I'm sure they make them. I just, I just probably have to go to the, another hardware store and see if they have something in stock. Yeah, hopefully that helped. Uh, replace this nut ASAP. This is cheap garbage. Replace it with a nice grade eight. All right, now let me show you how to make the custom bumper stop. If yours were too short, what I went, same thing at Home Depot, three eighths. This is a galvanized three eighths by six inch hex bolt. You're gonna have to take your own measurement. I could have probably got away with a five and a half, but I chose to go with a six inch. I also decided to go with carriage bolt and a rubber leg tip. So that's kind of what my brain thought of at the moment. They didn't have any black ones that were three quarter inch because the three quarter inch ones fit pretty snug. So this is what you'll do first. You'll grab your carriage bolt and feed it through this, uh, this rubber leg tip and kind of just straighten it out like that. Now, since I had the nuts to go, f I have a box of nuts that I just found two hex nuts. Um, that fit this bolt, this 3 8 bolt. But if you're at the store, get some galvanized ones and galvanized washers and galvanized lock washers as well. So what you'll do is you'll put the first nut on, put a lock washer, feed it all the way down, and a flat washer as well. And now we do a washer, lock nut, and a nut. So what we'll do is find our placement first. Now the way I install them, it's easier without these shields, but what you'll want to do is you want to split it and then kind of go at an angle like that. Now here's where you make an adjustment. You know, you can bring this higher, you can bring it lower. Um, just make sure you're flat and you're flush with the rubber stop or leg stop and then tighten them up. So you're just gonna have to make your own adjustment while you do that and see what works for you and how much height you need. 
And then of course, just go ahead and tighten them up like that. Doing those two things will definitely increase the stability of your ramp rack sport. Again, I ran mine without uh, bumper stops and it probably led to the reason, uh, like another reason why it became loose. Um, again, it started rocking left and right, back and forth. Um, <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you guys a funny story. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but this whole ramp dropped while I was um, while I was driving. It just I was at a red light, and it went green. I hit the throttle, and it came down. I was room. I, I did take out some stuff out of my uh, out of my bed of my truck, and I th I believe I did push these in and locked them in place. Maybe I had them open. I don't know, but. This was, this happened like halfway through my trip. So when I left home, I believe I did lock them. So now I don't want to ever take my chances again of having that happen because it did scratch up the underside here and bend the handle. So now I'm just running a uh, carabiner through the hole here. That's actually the holes where you can install a lock so people don't open it up and steal your stuff. So. I'm just going to be running one carabiner. You don't have to do both. You can. I bought two, but for time saving purposes, you can just have one installed. So you just have to remove it and then throw these down, unlock them and take your ramp, unfold it. If you enjoyed that, hope these quick tips helped somebody out there. I will be uploading a 2023 trailerless lawn care setup and uh, just stay tuned for that. Appreciate it guys, thank you so much. God bless you, we'll see you in the next one.